Derek Acorn and welcome to Dead Connections. Here we are today in a local wood near a local asylum. There's been ghosts reported around this area for many many years and I've been called here today to see if I can uh, get to the bottom of the conundrum. I can tell you a little bit of history about the place. This is ancient woodland. It goes right back to the Romans and uh, the actual asylum very near here is uh, Yes, it's very old. It goes back to the 1900s. Um, I've been in here a while now and I keep getting feelings, um, strange feelings really. Like I want to jab a man's heart out with a biro. Um, I don't know what that feeling comes from. It, it's not really like me that. It's not really something I really experience. And sometimes I maybe feel like chopping somebody's leg off. Mm, that's a very odd feeling. Mm. Well, I'm hearing things. What, what's that? What's that, Jeff? Jeff tells me there's a gentleman approaching right now. Oh, I'm getting some very bad feelings about him. I don't know what he's doing. He's, mm. Stop, sir! Stop, sir! Mm. Stop, sir! Stop. What are you doing, man? Stop. What, what are you I doing, feel man? is, I feel that this Get gentleman is possessed me. by a, a demon, maybe. Okay, let it out, let it out. Jeff, get him, get him back. Let it out, let it out. Get off me. Right, hold on. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hello, thank you for joining me, Darren Acorn, for another fantastic paranormal investigation. Today, I've been called to this house in Middle South Yorkshire for strange going on that are happening in this house. What we've got is reports of poltergeist activity. Can you feel how heavy the presence has got in here? Very heavy, very heavy. I'd, I'd put it to, you know, when you get in a very hot bath, you get out of it quick. I put it like that, but not quite. More like heavy, like we you know we treacle in it. But what I'm feeling here is some really dark energies. Really, really dark energies. Darker than when we used to burn coal for energy. Well, let's see if I can tap in. I've been looking for this. I've been looking for it for ages. What's happening is I'm feeling very angry. Sorry, he's a particularly strong spirit. He keeps taking over and fighting me. What I'm feeling is exhaustion and I don't know what it is, but I can taste it. What's that taste? I've tasted that before. Bitter, that's what it is, it's bitter. I'm tasting bitter and pork scratchings. I've got a feeling this man used to be knocking about, possibly in working men's clubs. What, what's that? It seems to be quite a strong spirit. It's getting a good hold of me. Whew. What I'm sensing is he's angry with the owner of this house because he's not eating pork scratchings and not drinking bars of the best bitter. And he's, he's really got it in for him. I'd really hate to be the owner of this house because he seems quite angry about all this. Let me see if I can have a word. Oh, I just like a rock. Oh, 
is not very important to you. The man in this house is always drinking cider, which is driving me around Bangkok. Giddy Mac! Oh! No, don't drink wine on your self shelf. Oh, jeez. Just give me a second here. Whew. I just need to get my spirit guided to actually form a barrier against this guy. Jeff! Jeff! Make him take a step back, Jeff. Make him take a step back, Jeff. I can't handle it. Time to gear. Gear. Hey, up, cop. Gear. Gear. I think I can. Right. I think I can settle this. Right. I'm just going to ask him. I'm just going to ask him. Would you prefer it if he didn't drink wine in the house? Did they eat it? Oh, my God.